In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My sisters and brothers, may the Lord give you all the gift of his peace. As we begin the second day of our novena to Our Lady of Mount Carmel, just want to recap what we reflected on yesterday as a springboard to what we want to talk about today, reflect on today. As we know in yesterday's gospel, Jesus names and sends out the 12 apostles. Uh, very clear, very specific instructions. He calls them by name. They're all mentioned in the scripture. And then the instruction is where they should not go before he tells them where they should go. Don't go to pagan territory. Don't go to Gentile territory. He wants to say, and he's setting the tone right away, that for these 12 apostles, those, his inner circle, his inner network from which all of evangelization is going to flow, start at home. The lost sheep of the house of Israel. Start with the temple. Start with the covenant. Start with those already called, but who have lost their way. And I tie that into reflecting for on today's lost sheep of the house of Israel. Our own Catholics who have lost their way, not celebrating the sacraments, not receiving sacraments, um, just kind of lost their way with prayer, religion, faith, and so on. Today's gospel picks up exactly where yesterday's gospel leaves off. And in it, Jesus is talking about uh, further instructions of what these 12 apostles are about to do. So he tells them, cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, drive out demons. So in the same way that I applied yesterday's instructions to today, I'm doing that today. But you know what? Can I raise the dead? Can you cleanse lepers? Can we drive out demons together? Well, yes and no. Um, yes, we absolutely can. By the gifts of the Holy Spirit that are given to us, we can do all those, all those things. But what about stretching out, casting out demons? Well, let's not think movies, The Exorcist, and so on. But what about the demons of alcoholism, the demon of selfishness, the demon of arrogance, and all of those other stretched out demons? Yeah. I can help people and I can journey with people and I can battle those demons inside myself with the sacrament of reconciliation and by the reception of, of Sunday and of course weekly Eucharist. So the instruction I think for today is to find those demons, cure those sick, not from a medical point of view, maybe those who are spiritually ill. So we have quite a, a task to do today. And I think the way that we can do that is, and it's a great carryover into yesterday, for those who have lost their way, again, it's the same gospel, it's the same sermon, and it's the same message. Let's go find those who are lost, those who are battling demons, those who are spiritually ill, and those even those who are spiritually dead. And I know how we can do it, because I know I do it as a priest all the time. I want my Jesus to be your Jesus. I want my church to be your church. I love my Jesus, I love my faith, I love my church. Can you feel the passion and the enthusiasm? You could do that too. And that indeed can raise to heal and to cure those who are lost. Who, who will we pray for uh, today on the second day of our novena? As I mentioned in, er, earlier as we begin this novena, let's be interactive. So whether you're on the Facebook page or on the YouTube page, uh, let us know your comments, let us know who you're praying for, let us know what you think. Novena Day uh, 2. Most Holy Mother, Most Holy Mary, our Mother, in your great love for us, you gave us the Holy Scapular of Mount Carmel. Having heard the prayers of your chosen son, Saint Simon Stock, help us now to wear it faithfully and with devotion. May it be a sign to us of our desire to grow in holiness. Mention your requests now. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of Mount Carmel, pray for us. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. By the way, the visual that you're going to see in this, in this video of a beautiful stained glass window is in our rectory chapel, and it's a beautiful window of Our Lady giving the scapular to St. Simon Stock. Thank you so much for praying with us today. I'm delighted that you're able to join us. Please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Saint, spelt out, Anastasia Tinek, and click subscribe. We're looking for 1,000 subscribers. God bless you.